This is a carbon bike and there isn't much on this bike that isn't carbon. So just to run through, to be clear, we've got carbon rims, carbon forks, carbon frame, carbon monocoque it's called, carbon cover, carbon cover on the battery, carbon cover on the motor, carbon cranks, carbon handlebar, carbon seat post, carbon rim on the back and even a little carbon cover here. So there's a lot of carbon on this bike. And essentially the reason that that has been done is that every single point in the design of this bike, we want to strip out as much weight as we possibly can to make it really fast and really agile. So the Avari comes in three different models that are available, the 856, the 856 CS and the 856 CS Plus. There's a couple of differences between the specification on the 856 and the CS version of them. Two things to note, I guess. One is the um, carbon fully integrated handlebar with the headlight in is part of the 856 CS spec. Um, the other thing is the brakes. So on the standard 856, it comes with the Magura MT5 brakes, which are incredible and are fitted to all high-end recent Muller bikes. And on the 856 CS, we get the Magura MT7s. Then the next difference between the two model specs that we've got out there, on the standard bike, the 856, we get a choice of three different colours, three different paint jobs we can have on it. It's a white, a red and a grey from memory. When you go up to the CS, the CS is Custom Studio, and we get to choose from ten different colours, uh, they're metallic finishes, and we can choose to have them finished in a gloss or a matte paint. So a whole range of colours, and if you come into the showroom, we'll be able to show you those on the, the bars so you can see exactly the types and colours of bikes you can get. Really important with the CS bikes, these are all custom painted uh, when you buy your bike. So this bike is sitting as a carbon frame at the moment. When you buy it, it then goes to the paint shop and gets painted up. That gives another really nice opportunity. So there's one bike which is a top spec bike that becomes an 856 CS Plus. And the Plus, you can have any paint job that you want at all. So if you happen to know an artist who is willing to share some of their work, you can actually get it put onto your bike. So you can have any paint job you want. And that will be sent off to a company um, who works alongside Elbari to have that done. So on the Avari bikes, you get two choices of gearing. You can either have a single speed, which I've got to be honest, probably isn't going to be that popular. And then the other option is to go for the Roloff E14. Now the Roloff E14 is the same hub gearing that is used on the recent Muller bike. So it's a 14 speed um, hub with an enormous range of gears. So today riding, I probably haven't got lower than about gear six. Um, and we've done some reasonably good hills on the way through. So uh, most people are going to go for the Roloff hub. And pretty much with all the high spec bikes that we see nowadays, so things like the Super Delights or the Superchargers from Reese and Muller, uh, we'll find a standard these bikes are supplied with belt drives, so they're Gates carbon belt drives rather than chains. So benefits of the combination of those two are pretty much zero maintenance. So there's no need for oiling or indexing gears at all. It's a fit and forget type solution that we've got. <laughs> This is using the top spec Bosch motor, so the 85 Newton meter Gen 4 motor, performance line CX uh, from Bosch. I wouldn't really choose any other motor. This is huge amount of power, especially on a bike of this weight. The display on these bikes, they come standard with the Bosch Kiox display, nicely integrated into the top tube of the frame. So this is fixed in here and it just sort of fits flush with the top tube. So that looks really, really smart on it. So lights on the bikes are provided by Supernova front and rear with the rear one being integrated into the seat post tube and when you get a look at that from the rear of the bike it looks absolutely incredible. And one of the, the really nice things about this, um, I've never been a fan of the, the bikes with the drop handlebars, the really sporty positions, you know, a little bit more uncomfortable. This bike is designed to be more upright. It's got this lovely flat handlebar. I think they've said it's called a Malibu handlebar. I'm not 100%, but basically it's got a lovely sweep shape to it. So the tyres that are fitted to this bike as standard are a gravel tyre, which means you're getting a really nice crossover really capable on the road, but when you get to some of that more gravelly stuff, they're still suitable. 
And then there's the pedals. So pedals on this bike are from a company called Bergtech, which are another UK company. So we're really starting to hang together a whole UK type bike. So we're talking about a UK startup company that has made this incredible lightweight carbon bike. Um, and it's really good to see something like this back in the UK. So you know somebody's done a good job of building a bike and designing a bike when it's the, um, the little bits that have been included as well. So throughout the whole of the bike, we've got titanium bolts that have been made specifically for this Avari bike. All of the heads are then uh, with a T30 Torx um, bolt on them. Now, other things to look at, there's things like this um, carbon cover that goes on the top here. There's another carbon cover. You can't even see it. It's down on the battery here and one on the motor here. Uh, both carbon covers and these are made at a company called Rockwood down in Devon and it's all these little bits of attention to detail that really tell you this isn't a gimmick this bike has really been built to do the job so if you are thinking that this could well be the bike for you then obviously one of the big questions is going to be price how much do they actually cost something like the Avari 856 is starting at £9,125 and if you go up to the CS version with the roll-off hub on it, the custom um, paint, sorry the, the choice of the, the 10 different paints, then you're looking at more like £13,295 and then a, a charge on top of that if you want to have the bike completely custom painted. So if you are thinking of buying one of these bikes then you need to book in a test ride with us at Edimo. We've got two sites, one in the Cotswolds and one in Bristol, and we are the sole distributor of these bikes in the UK for Avari. Um, and we have two bikes. We have an 856 and an 856 CS. I promise I'll clean it before you turn up. Um, and they are there to be ridden. Does it justify the, the price tag? Forget it looks great. The performance of it, it's so fast, it's so agile, um, it's lightweight, it's, it's incredible bike, it's really lovely. I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna have this one, and we're not gonna give it back to Avari. They'll never know. <laughs>